Are your smart devices safe? Smart tech is under serious scrutiny. Why? Well, in the so-called pager attacks, the Israeli Secret Service remotely exploded communication devices used by Lebanese Hezbollah members. Dozens were dead and thousands injured. Now, US President Joe Biden is reining in another potentially dangerous smart technology, connected and self-driving cars. Find out what's happening and what risks are posed by smart tech in our homes. Are smart cars dangerous? Chinese software and hardware in smart cars should be forbidden on American roads. That's what the US Commerce Department proposed on Monday. This would effectively block Chinese cars and trucks from the US market. It would also force automakers from other countries to remove Chinese tech from vehicles sold in the United States. The US administration says the move is about national security. They fear China could use smart cars to spy on the US. Smart cars can indeed gather a lot of sensitive data and cause harm. Here are the three main risks. Gathering user data. If a car system has a voice assistant, hackers or those controlling the software could eavesdrop on conversation. They could also access onboard cameras. Beyond that, tracking the car's routes and stops via GPS would create a detailed picture of the driver's daily life. Combined, this data could reveal intimate details about the person behind the wheel, putting their safety at risk. Gathering information on locations and infrastructure. Using the car's external cameras and sensors, someone with remote control could gather detailed data about the areas the car travels through or where it parks. This could provide valuable insights into critical infrastructure like power plants or military bases. Manipulation of navigation systems. Many newer smart cars can be controlled remotely. This means they could potentially be steered against the driver's will. So smart cars could potentially be used to harm people inside or around them by intentionally causing an accident. To sum it up, smart cars have a lot of potential for misuse. Criminals could figure out the best time to break into your house. Companies could sell sensitive data to third parties. And the US fears that China could use smart cars to spy on us. But smart cars aren't the only concern. And it isn't the first time Chinese tech has come under scrutiny. Have you ever wondered, how safe is my smartphone? You are not alone. In 2022, the US government banned devices from Chinese smartphone makers Huawei and ZTE, citing national security risks. Whether that move was justified or not, there's no denying it, smartphones are perfect for spying. It's not just phone calls or chats. Full access to your phone can reveal a lot more, like your bank account or health data. What criminals cannot do is turn your smartphone into a deadly weapon. After the pager bombings, there was a lot of online debate about whether smartphones could be remotely exploded the same way. But the pages in Lebanon were physically manipulated. They were rigged with explosives. If a criminal hijacked a phone, they might in some cases be able to overheat the battery. That could cause the phone to catch fire or even explode. But it's extremely unlikely this could be used to cause serious harm to someone. Now, let's talk about the smart devices in our homes. The uncomfortable truth? Smart TVs, fridges, vacuum robots, basically any device that is connected to the internet can be hacked. If your device features a sensor, a camera, a microphone or a laser to measure space, they can be used to spy on you if someone hijacks them. Security researchers have recently even found weaknesses in smart lawnmowers. So if you are using smart devices, stick to manufacturers you trust and always keep their software updated. This helps close off security loopholes criminals could exploit. The same is true for smartphones, by the way. Use strong passwords and consider extra security like two-factor authentication. And please don't click on links from unknown sources. You're putting yourself at risk of getting your device infected with malware. That's it from me. Stay alert online. Bye.